Hello everyone, this is the Jose Show. I hope everyone's having a great Wednesday. As you guys can tell, I am wearing this beautiful striped yellow shirt today, and man, I am enjoying it big time. Well, 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 we have a lot of good topics to talk about on today's episode, so now let's get started, shall we? Let's start off with Bobby Brown, who is teaming up with A&E for two-part documentary special and new reality series. The R&B singer has teamed with A&E for a two-part in-depth documentary special, Biography Bobby Brown, which explores Brown's roller coaster career and personal life. The network announced today, and the two-night special airs Monday, May 30, and Tuesday, May 31st at 8 p.m. So, featuring an exclusive interview with Brown, um, Biography Bobby Brown charts the Grammy winner's rise to stardom and the fallout from his personal struggles with sobriety and the deaths of his two children, Bobby Jr. and Bobby Christina, and first wife Whitney Houston. A&E says the special will include Brown's first visits to the grave site of Houston and Bobby Christina and holds a deeply moving tribute in honor of Bobby Jr. Others interviewed for the doc include Usher, Jermaine Dupri, Keith Sweet, Babyface, Brown's new edition group mates, Ricky Bell, Michael Bivens, Ronnie DeVoe, and Johnny Gill, and close family and friends. Additionally, Brown will take cameras along the journey in a new 12-episode docuseries, Bobby Brown, Every Little Step, which offers an inside look at his life with wife Alicia, Alicia Etheridge Brown and their children as he sets his sights on new business opportunities, new music, and the reunion tour with New Edition via the Culture Tour. The series launches immediately after night two of Biography Bobby Brown at 10 p.m. New episodes air Tuesdays at 9 p.m. Beginning June 7, it will feature Brown, Etheridge Brown, and their family, La Princia, Landon, Casius, Hendrix, and Bodie. All right. Well, this is actually pretty good tea. Well, you know what? This is actually pretty cool that Bobby Brown is going to be um, launching a new docu-series um, and a reality show, too. Because, I mean, as all of us, you know, have been, you know, wondering for years what the heck, you know, has been going on with the Houston family and, and you know, especially with Bobby Brown um, and of course, because, I mean, it was overwhelming just having to hear about the fact that Bobby Christina passed away and then Whitney Houston passed away. And of course, the fact that, um, even Bobby Brown's son, um, passed away as well, Bobby Jr. I mean, it's very overwhelming. It really is completely overwhelming. And so that's the reason why we really have been wanting to know what the heck has been going on with with the family you know and another thing is is that um we as people we um also would like to know of course um their good things you know not just their, the bad things that went on in their lives but also their good things you know like of course Whitney's talent and of course you know the stuff that Bobby Brown did for himself and for his living and you know, also the other good things that went towards the family that not just had to do with music, but also had to do with other things. And, um, you know, and also here's another thing. Um, I also feel like this reality series is really going to not just make people, you know, cry. And it's not only going to make a lot of people get entertained and, 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 you know, just see what's going on, but also... I feel like this is going to be something that a lot of families are going to learn from because I feel like when it comes to reality series where it, there's, you know, a bunch of bad things going on, like, you know, with the drug um, situation that went on with um, Whitney and Bobby Christina and then, of course, those personal struggles that even Bobby Brown went through, too, um, that will really help a lot of people, especially the people that have been going through addiction, learn how bad, um, you know, drug addiction could lead you to, how bad alcoholism could lead you to, how bad, um, other struggles could lead you to, you know? So, 
I mean, this is also not just something to get entertained from, but this is also to be learning from, you know? So, I mean, this is actually good. I mean, and I can already imagine that Bobby Brown's going to be making a fortune out of this um, series, and he's going to be making a fortune, of course, um, because he's working with a very good network, like the A&E network, you know? So... You know, so this is actually pretty much worth it. And you know what? A lot of us, especially a lot of the Whitney Houston fans, are definitely going to be looking forward to this series coming in May and in June. Alrighty then. Now from Bobby Brown to now Catherine Cates. Well, the Orange is the New Black and Law and & Order and SVU actress unfortunately passed away at the age of 73. Well... The actress's talent agency confirmed her death in a social media announcement on Monday. Um, our mighty Catherine Cates has passed away. She will always be remembered and adored in our hearts as the powerful force of nature she was. And then they went on and said she loved this craft and had enough patience to fill 10 ships. A true icon, we, mi we will miss you. Arup confirmed to people that Cates died on Saturday after battling lung cancer. She had most recently appeared in the highly anticipated Sopranos prequel, The Many Saints of Newark, as Angie DiCarlo, before completing on an upcoming project, Maybe There's a Tree Over the Years. Fans could spot Cates in an array of TV roles from Mabel M Maloney on Matlock to Mrs. Carabino on Lizzie McGuire, Mrs. Saperstein on Jennifer Lopez's crime drama Shades of Blue, or Counter Woman on Seinfeld. So she did numerous TV shows. It was, you know, not just, of course, Orange is the New Black, but she had numerous, numerous shows. I mean, she was so iconic and she was definitely well known. And, you know, the fact that she had passed away is now something that, of course, is, you know, pretty heartbreaking especially because I mean unfortunately we're starting off the year with so many deaths of so many icons I mean we already had had Betty White Bob Saget um, and many many more icons that had passed away um, Meatloaf there's another one and now it's Catherine Cates Oh my goodness um, but my hearts and prayers go out to Catherine Cates' family for the death of of Catherine Cates um, and also my hearts and prayers go out to all the people that are you know that are friends with her and all the people that loved and supported her um, and unfortunately cancer is something that is you know not easy to deal with it happens to everyone well almost everyone to a lot of people and unfortunately, I mean, to this day, especially, you know, with older people, I mean, it, cancer is just, it, it's like something that, that even if you try to be so healthy, it'll still come to you, you know, like we can try, we can take care of our, of ourselves and we can go off and try and do the best we can with everything. But yet again, it, cancer is awful it'll just come it'll come like a ghost you know so i mean but to all the cancer survivors out there you guys are very lucky to have survived that awful illness you know congrats to you guys but to all the people that didn't make it i really am truly truly um sorry i you know I, this is awful this is something that of course should not happen but unfortunately it happens so um may Catherine case rest in peace um she'll forever be remembered and she'll forever be in our hearts well anyways from Catherine cates to now um a different story that's for sure to now Jeannie mai well, Jeannie Mai has just revealed the gender of her baby. 
Well, JD Mai and Jeezy are expecting a baby girl. <sighs> this is what JD Mai had to say on today's episode of The Real. Jeannie Mai said, I am very excited to share that Monaco Mai Jenkins is a girl. Mai declares in the preview of the, of the show, and Mai says, Jeannie Mai says, the, new, the news came as a surprise dishing. We were shocked because everybody thought it was a boy. I want to say to all moms out there, the superstitions like how high your belly is and what your skin is like, all those things aren't true. End quote. Mai's co-stars comment on how cool the name Monaco is for a girl, and the proud mom shares, we named the baby before the baby was even born. The baby's name was a meaning, so there was no other reason to, for that. End quote. The TV host is thrilled to be the mom to a little girl, and Jeannie Mai went on and said this. I also thought about all the things I didn't learn as a little girl that I can't wait to teach my daughter now my shares. There's just so many reasons why raising a little girl is such an honor to me and I would have been happy with anything but to have Monaco, I can't tell you. I feel chosen. It's emotional. I can't wait to raise a strong, loving, empathetic, humorous, fashionable, fly little girl. End quote. Alrighty then, congratulations to Jeannie Mai and to Jeezy on the coming of their baby girl. You guys are going to be wonderful parents. I can already feel it. And you know what? I know that the both of them are going to be the happiest parents on earth. You know, and I know that um, Jeannie's life is going to change now that she's a mom. But it's going to change for the better because, you know, she's going to be able to, you know, learn on what it's like to be a mom. She's going to be able to learn on, you know, on on raising a daughter especially. And of course, she is going to have a, 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 a what's it called, a company by her side. So she's basically going to learn those things. And I also think that, um, that this daughter that she's going to have, um, I can already imagine that um, this daughter is going to, you know, be her her partner and everything, especially because she's a girl, you know. And you know how moms and daughters, they get along with each other so well because, of course, they're both women. They're both, you know, they both, you know, have the same interests and stuff like that. And that's how I feel it. That's the kind of feeling I, ha I have is going to happen um, between um, Monaco and Jeannie Mai. I really think so. Um, so, a lot of great things are going to happen for Jeannie Mai. A lot of great things now that she, um, is a mom. And especially now that she has a daughter. So, yeah. And, um, there is no doubt that Jeannie Mai is going to bring her daughter onto the show once Jeannie Mai is going to be back from maternity leave. Which I believe she's going to be back by March, I believe, from maternity leave. So, there's no doubt about that, that she is going to bring her daughter into the show and everything. And... Um, I can already imagine that the daughter is going to look like her. I can imagine her daughter is going to look like her. The reason why is because... I don't know. I, 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 th I think it's because I have this, this, um, this thing where daughters look a lot more like, like their moms, you know, than their dads. So that's the reason why... I feel like Monaco is going to look a lot more like Jeannie than Jeezy, you know, so, and if that is, if that ends up being true, then you know what, Jeannie's even more lucky to have a daughter that looks a lot like her, you know, it's like, you know, a mini her, you know, so that's even better, you know, so anyways, congratulations to Jeannie and Mai and to Jeezy on the coming of their baby girl, um, this is amazing, this is wonderful, um, 